Welcome back to Southpaw Garage. Today we're gonna to do a little bit of a dash update and talk about some modifications that we're gonna to have to make for this project. Uh, as you can probably see, I'm still not used to using the lapel mic. I forgot to grab it this morning. Hopefully this audio is all right. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad because I am using the same uh, phone, the iPhone that I've been using for all my videos. So we're just gonna get into this video and see what we got going over here on this dash. You can see we got the new panels installed. This is that panel we were working on last time in the video with the threaded pieces that broke off of the back. We were able to get it installed and stuck up against the dash. And as you can see, you can't really tell where that panel ends and the actual dash begins without like getting up close and really taking a look at it. So. I think that looks really good. We have the black piece that goes across it here in the front with the oh crap handle over here on the right. And then this is where the Camaro emblem would normally be for this piece in a Camaro. We got a Nova dash emblem and put it up here to cover those holes where that Camaro emblem would be. I think that looks really good. I'm actually really impressed with how it turned out. And as you can see, having this up in here does cover that ugly hole that we cut out for the vent. So that helps give it a really good look. And it's definitely going to be kind of a one-of-a-kind Nova with these Camaro add-ons that we've been doing. You can see through this hole, we have put the dash speaker in. We are going to try to figure out a secondary bracket Something to use to help hold it up because it's not quite holding it all the way up like it should be. But we're working on getting that bracket figured out and how we're going to mount it, give it a little extra support. Quick update on the dash speaker. We're not going to have to build a secondary bracket after all. Turns out we just didn't quite have this one in place all the way when we mounted it. So now we got it mounted, tightened up, and it's no longer flimsy. It is held nice and flush and tight up against the top of the dash. So I'm going to throw that into the video right here real quick and get back to the rest of the update. I'm going to walk around the back and talk a little bit about this dash pad that we're going to be putting on. Because we're using the Camaro gauge cluster, we actually also have to use the Camaro dash pad because the gauge cluster has this section that comes out here for the clock or just the little Camaro emblem that sits in there. The Nova dash pad is just straight across, so it would not work with this Speedo cluster. But we did realize when we were looking at the dash pad that we're going to have to make some modifications in order to mount it properly. For a Nova dash pad, you have a mounting point here, 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 and here for the threaded pieces to go through, and then you put the nuts on the other end to hold it tight. And then you have the cutouts, these rectangular cutouts, across the top of the dash where the front part of the dash pad slots in and clips into place. On a Camaro dash pad, instead of the rightmost threaded piece being up at the top, it's actually down here at the bottom, about right here. So we're going to fashion a bracket that we can run from here all the way across. And then we're going to put a hole in it on this side so that we're going to have that extra place for the threaded piece on the Camaro dash pad. So we will actually have this threaded mounting point, this threaded mounting point, this one, and then one right here for the Camaro dash pad. We're also going to have to cut another rectangular slot like this over here on this side because the Camaro, since it's not using the top threaded piece to go in up here, it's actually got another clip that's got to go in on this side. So we'll have to cut a hole for that to go in. 
So if you're looking to use a Camaro dash pad on a Nova like we are, you will have to make some slight modifications. But when you're switching parts from one car to another, that's always a possibility. And it's probably not gonna fit exactly perfect anyway. Y'all probably already know that. But yeah, that's a quick update. Uh, the reason we don't quite have the glove box door and the ashtray door on is because we we're repainting them. The ashtray door had some bad places in it when we got the paint done. It had some trash in it. And we're just going to do a fresh coat, get it to look as good as possible. The glove box door, speaking of the glove box, we did get the glove box light switch installed. So that should work once we get the battery hooked up and everything. But the glove box door, I was actually putting the locking mechanism in the glove box. And I'll walk over here to show you this. You can see here, you got the locking mechanism and the threaded cap that goes on this side to hold the lock in place. And then I was putting in the key portion that slots in. And when I went to push it in, it slipped in a little bit. I don't wanna say, it wasn't really faster, but there's one place where it slides in and the last, I don't know what they're called on locks. They're the pieces at the top that go up or down depending on whether the correct key is in there or not. And the last one, when you put it in, you have to actually push it down to get it to slide all the way in. And when I pushed it down and I put a little bit of pressure on it, it went in easier than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna go in a little bit slower than that. So I guess faster is the correct term. And when that happened, my fingernail caught the paint and chipped it right there. So now we're going to have to sand that down, respray it, get that done. Otherwise, we would have the glove box and ashtray doors installed. I guess while we're here, we can do a little bit of a order or parts update. So we do have the, got a bit of a mess on this table here from where you've been working yesterday. We do have the ashtray components this is the cigarette lighter pieces this is the one that actually plugs in the housing and then this is the lighter itself this is the brand new ashtray we've got new set of rear speakers for the nova Six by nines, 200 watt peak power, custom auto sound. We're actually using custom auto sound for all of our audio components for this rebuild. The speaker that's in the dash is also custom auto sound. And then this is the radio that we will be using to go in the Camaro Speedo cluster. It's got the little Chevy bow tie. It's got a very classic look with the buttons. It does have AM, FM, and it also has a USB cable on the back side of it that will allow me to plug in a phone or some other music device. Don't really think anybody used MP3 players anymore. But some type of device that has music on it that I can play instead of just having to be stuck with the radio. It's not a huge deal because this isn't gonna be a daily driver anyway, but I thought that was a cool little additional component on this radio, and that was one of the reasons why I wanted to go with this one, along with how awesome that's going to look with the Chevy bow tie in the middle and the chrome and black knobs. But all right, that's a quick little update for you. Got a bunch of stuff going on right now that we're trying to get done. Hoping to be able to start the motor soon. I know I've said that before, but we are getting a lot closer now that we're getting this wiring stuff done and starting to get the dash put together and everything. So keep an eye out for that first engine crank video that hopefully will be coming out in the next couple weeks. As always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Give this video a like down below if you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed yet to the channel, uh, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button. I've Last I checked, only about 5%
of people that view my videos or subscribe. So I'd like to try to get that number up. Uh, maybe we can reach 10%. Uh, if we get some more subscribers, start with a 10% goal here. So let's check that out, see if we can do that. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. Again, thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one.